Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 15th of May. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you an overview that we can all relate to collectively, but please stay with me. I will then explore each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in much greater detail. Now, as this week begins, so Mercury starts to go forwards. It went retrograde on the 21st of April. If there have been strands of your situation that have felt rather frustrating, have got bogged down, there's been misunderstandings or those inevitable glitches that we get with Mercury retrograde, it wouldn't be a surprise. But Mercury retrograde in Taurus is very specifically around financial matters, but also around our sense of values and self-worth. So it's been an opportunity to try to tighten up in those areas, but also work on making sure that we validate who we are. Now that process is given a huge boost, a further boost on Tuesday, because Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion and excitement, moves into the sign of Taurus to join up with Mercury, the Sun, and the North Node and Uranus. And it's going to be here through to the 25th of May 2024. So a huge journey is set to unfold. Now I think what we're going to see is some initial improvements. They may not seem particularly significant in our overall financial picture because there's been such a headwind that's been running for the last year which really accelerated from that lunar eclipse on the 8th of November last uh, year which really was challenging for the overall economic environment but we are going to see some improvements bits and pieces there may still be some creeping up in terms of interest rates but I think this is the beginning of a much brighter period but Jupiter is challenged by Pluto so when we are thinking about our longer term future we do have to balance our idealism with our realism. Now Friday also sees a new moon in the sign of Taurus. So another good news story. This is supported by Mars. When Mars is feeding into a new moon, the energy and drive of Mars, this time in Cancer, a feeling sign, is linking well with the earthy energies of the new moon. You can see below for my deep dive on the Taurus new moon, but it's a new moon with lots of promise because the moon is exalted in the sign of Taurus. This is its second favorite location and it's very much to do with stability, but it's encouraging us to find ways to try to make our life our lives more secure and grounded, perhaps by being a bit more thrifty, a bit more imaginative, working things around in terms of existing resources the best we can. But as the week draws to a close, it's a more social set of influences that really start to develop. Mars punching into the sign of Leo on Saturday, where it will be through to July the 10th. This is really exciting. Wonderful for performance, for demonstrating our talents and our creativity. But on Sunday, as the sun speeds in to the sign of Gemini, the sun and Mars continue their excellent alliance that did encompass that new moon, but in two new signs. And of course, the sun moving into Gemini is about air. It's about communication. So I feel that we're going to see a lot of sluggishness that's been uh, really prevalent over the last three weeks, make way for a lot of thrust in energy by the end of this week. Also, the sun's forging an exciting link to Pluto uh, in the sign of Aquarius, the sun in Gemini. So in general, a lot more communication is going to be arcing backwards and forwards, but in a very transformational way. So I think after a year of what has been quite a brutal time, 
financially, there are going to be a few hopeful signs, but that will become much more obvious in the weeks and months to come. But as this week draws to a close, it's an opportunity to get together with others, to socialise, to connect, share ideas and be a lot more bubbly. If you're a returning visitor to my channel, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the link below. Now, Taurus, your week commencing the 15th of May forecast is particularly exciting because Jupiter, the planet of opportunity, returns to your sign for the first time since 2012. It usually takes around about 12 years to go through its cycle, but its cycle over the last couple of years has been more eccentric, going through two signs twice over those two years. But it's back into your sign on Tuesday. This complements Mercury going direct in your sign on Monday. And on Friday, there's a glorious new moon in your sign because it's supported by the thrusting energetic energy of Mars. What can you make of all of this? Well, Jupiter moving into your own sign is asking you to make the most of your talents. Jupiter is a planet which can trick us into taking things a little bit for granted. So the best way to make it work for us is to roll our proverbial sleeves up and really apply our talents in as a productive way as possible. So hard work and application are important to the gift that Jupiter brings over the next 12 months because it's going to be with you through to the 25th of May 2024. So the more that you can take the initiative, the better you're going to work its energy. But Mercury going direct suggests that something that's important to you that's more of an individual project or plan or expressing your talents. Uh, if something has seemed very slow, bogged down or actually hasn't really taken off over the last uh, weeks, I feel that it can start to gain traction now. And if something didn't work out, actually you may have changed your mind about what was the right course of action anyway. And that can happen with Mercury retrograde. But of course, Jupiter moving into your sign also squares up with Pluto right at the top of your situation to do with ambitions, goals, and your standing in the world. That combination can give us enormous determination. So if you're born right at the start of Taurus, this is going to be very fitting for you. But the important thing to remember with Jupiter and Pluto in the mix is not to try so hard that we're actually treading on people's toes to the point that we actually create a lot of opposition. But the new moon is going to be very good for your personal vitality. And I feel that if you are a dedicated follower of fashion, this can be an opportunity to give yourself some kind of new refreshed look. If you're someone who's dedicated to following your own fashion and absolutely resisting any external trends, you may surprise yourself by still uh, refreshing your look in some way or another. But of course, Mars moving into the sign of Leo is house four for you. So don't be surprised if you're quite busy around the home front. And this is going to go on to July the 10th. In fact, with Venus moving into the sign of Leo for four months, your ruler, some changes around where you live is very likely for quite a few Taurus folks uh, through to the start of October. But the sun moving on Sunday into the third house of your situation could see some changes around your financial situation. And that may be something that's very gratifying. So if you've been working very hard for quite a long time, uh, the rewards can really start to show themselves. And people can truly want to celebrate the gifts you have. So don't be surprised if you find yourself in the limelight or if you apply for a job, you get it or some kind of internal promotion comes your way or you just feel much more determined 
to raise your profile in a way which is going to bring a, a much greater understanding of what you have to offer. So it's a very, very exciting week. And I feel that if things have felt stuck, uh, you are going to feel the traction coming through. And that in itself can be very gratifying indeed. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand how serious astrology can help guide your future, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, I can produce for you your life roadmap report. This will help you to gain much a much closer understanding of the patterns that have been playing out in your life thus far, but also capitalize on opportunities more effectively, but also deal with some of the challenges better. But also within my special package of 30% off, you can get your 12 month personal forecast. This will give you searing insights as to what to expect in the months to come. If you don't know your time of birth, please give me your date and place and I can produce for you my solar package based on the sun. And if you enjoy relating to Zodiac uh, forecasts on YouTube through your sun, these will make perfect sense. And just like my other package, there is 30% off if you buy the forecast too. Please see the link below for more.